Guys, okay, this one is on self-centeredness. And I think I've touched this subject on previous videos, but I want to do it again because it's important. Self-centeredness is a God characteristic. It is a very strong God characteristic. When you're a God, everything... you When you are God and you know everybody else is God's, that's all you are centered on is what you're doing yourself because you know that what you, other gods are doing is none of your business. So self-centeredness is a very God-like tactic, uh, trait. And so nonetheless, because it is one of the strongest God traits, it has been really, really, really um, attacked in Demonized. the third dimension. Yeah, they needed it to be gone because as long as you are very, very self-centered, then you can't really, you, you still have a God complex type thing going. And the point is to not remember you're a God at all in any way. So they've really attacked that over the years. So they say if you're self-centered, you're narcissistic, you're pathological, and all of this stuff that is their way of pushing that self-centeredness down and making it something you don't want to have. And that it's, it's not a bad just thing. the Judeo-Christian thing, because Buddhists do that and all the other ones. Yep, it's, it's everywhere. It, it's, you have to have it in order to get down to play the game of not being a god. So they had to squelch it, squash it. But as you're going back up, self-centeredness is necessity. It must be. You not only need to be self-centered about yourself, but you need to give respect on everybody else's capabilities. That you are a god, but so are they. Which is why the whole helping others thing is not a 5D trait. Sorry, I will disagree with them until forever. Mm -hmm. Is because if you know that you're a god and you know everything else is too, how rude for you to think that what you've got is better than them. How would you know how to help them better than they know how to help themselves? They're gods, you're gods, you handle you, you know you best, they know themselves best, stay out of their way, you get your job done. From what I've seen is what this does is it turns everybody's eyes to other people. And that has been very, very helpful in getting to the lower vibrations. People's noses and other people's business. People trying to get people to act, say, be what they think they should be. And that has created wild havoc in the third dimension. Endless. Yeah, third dimension. And certainly enough in the fourth dimension, but really bad in the third. So if you want out of this, you've got to stop thinking that. It makes no sense. How in any way, shape, or form do you have any way of knowing, especially with your present senses, what somebody else needs or wants? You have no right to say that. You have no idea where they came from, how they felt that way. I don't care who they are. I do not care. It is impossible for you to fix that. You've got to trust yourself. that You can turn your eyes back on yourself. Turn your eyes back on yourself. Get your job done. Don't worry about the other guy. They know what they're doing. Okay? So if you want out, I'm saying you got to develop some respect for yourself and respect for others. And that means they know what they're doing. So stop looking down your nose. That's part of 4D judgment. Oh, well, if you would just do this or hear this or learn this or whatever, then you would be better off. If you would do it like I did it, then you would be better off. That is faulty information. It has always been faulty. It will always be faulty. We are individual gods having very different experiences. And how we do that is very, very individual. Which is why I do not have a book with 10 pages that say step one, step two, step three. I can give you guidelines. And that's the reason why I lean towards happier and happier. Because how you get happier is probably going to be way, way different than anybody else. So if you try to copy somebody else, you're probably going to fail. And if you fail, you won't be happier, and you'll go the other direction. So don't try to do it somebody else's way. You're a very unique God with a very unique perspective, and you getting happier and happier and happier is going to be a unique path for you. That is the point, guys. That is the point. All right, that's it for this one. Love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.